Hi, this is Raja. I've got a question from uh, Anita from Greece asking me how to do gather, uh, gather border, and also the chain stitch. I have a perfect example of gather border right here. See that? You have kind of raised effect instead of smooth edge you have more rough effect here so these are gutter border and this little border right here is a chain stitch border and all you have to do is just crochet uh, four or five chains and then do the single crochet and I will show you how to do that to get gutter stitch border effect you need to do knit every row so this one you knit and then knit the other side and knit again and knit again until um, you get the desired desire length you want I have here a few rows of knitting that I did excuse me my needle falling down um, I need a few rows and it's begin to look like gutter stitch here and I'm using straight needle so what I need to do is knit so I'll show you one more row of knit this is on straight needles if you are using circular needle you will need to do knit one row and purl one row and alternate it until you get the length you want so that's all to it for garter stitch we do garter stitch border um, a lot on like a um, brows or shortened clothing so that the edge won't curl up and on this little jacket here it has only um, four rows of knitting so the edge is still a little curl so I think it will work better if I add a couple more rows here I got garter stitch you can see this rough effect of the edge okay so I hope that helped you just knit every row on straight needle and knit and purl on the circular needle and now we're gonna go to the chain stitch edge part how do you do that so it, it look very pretty but um, all you have to do is just do the chain stitch so I'm going to let me buy off this garter stitch and then I'll show you how to attach that chain stitch it to this it might take me a few minutes to do this cast off so if you are working on like a skirt on circular needle and you finish your garter stitch border and bind off all the stitches um, you just um, leave that yarn there don't have to cut it so that you're gonna continue making the chain stitch edge along the bottom edge of your skirt or your blouse and I'm binding off almost finished this is just um, to show you um, how to do it and in your real project you will have this long piece of your work and this is just a little example now I finished by binding off my last stitch so I'm going to start doing chain stitch with crochet you're gonna need to have this crochet needle that um, 
appropriate for the yarn and I'm using size G for worsted weight yarn and we begin by insert the crochet hook into that last loop from your buy off and then holding the yarn in your left hand like so and you're gonna wrap around your finger a few times and then wrap the yarn around the needle or cir circulate that needle around the yarn so you can do either way some people like to wrap the yarn like that I like to rotate my needle like that and the hook we catch that yarn and you will just pull it through that loop and the end result is you get one chain and I will do one more chain that's called chain stitch and again rotate the needle to catch that yarn and you pull it right through that loop or chain and then you create one more chain so so far I make two chains I will do about four three four so I have here four chains I'm gonna turn my piece and I will skip two stitch on my project edge here skip two stitch I'm going on the third one so put your crochet hook right into that third stitch and go grab that yarn with the hook again do the same thing wrap the yarn around that hook and grab it and bring it through now sometimes I do it the slip stitch just slip right to that chain and you'll get one section of the edge done sometime I will do I'm take this stitch off so I'll show you different way of doing it sometime I would do single crochet let me show you again single crochet is put your crochet hook in there grab the yarn and bring it up and leave it there on the needle and you go get more yarn wrap it around and pull it through both loops at the same time and you get single crochet so it depends on how I look at it. If I feel like it look a little too tall, I will do slip stitch. And then if not, I will go for single crochet. With this yarn, for me, I think slip stitch look better. So, I'll go skip two stitch, insert my needle, grab the yarn, and pull it true again start from beginning make chain one chain two chain three chain four and go skip two stitches one two go to the third one and insert that hook right in that third stitch grab that yarn and bring it through and bring it through that chain again so keep doing like that one two three four 
one to skip to and insert to the next and do slip stitch okay this yarn is a little big I'm doing it big so you can see how how the um, the chain edge look so if you think your chain loop look a little bit big you can decrease the chain by like three stitches so let's do three stitches instead of four start from beginning again okay this is my um, the last stitch from biting off I'm gonna do three chain one two three chain skip two go to the third and do slip stitch do three chains one two three skip two insert in the next stitch and go get the yarn with the hook and bring it through and bring it through that again this time you get a little smaller chain stitch one two three skip two slip stitch go so you keep doing like that until you go around the edge that you want so it will look like this okay I hope this helped you thank you for watching